Well, hello there, Kimo Sabi. We got a cook set here, and we're gonna go over that booger. So stay tuned. We shall get into her. Uh, see what's in there. <laughs> Chasing guns outdoors. Let's get started. All right, everybody, right off the bat, we have a PNW Bushcraft wax canvas bag. You need to check these guys out as far as shipping. Oh my goodness. I ordered it like two days before I got it. Um, so they are on top of their game. On the outside of my bag is a Tokes titanium spoon. This is the large one that will reach down into the mountain house mills. So check that out. I love it. Love it. Set that to the side. And here I have just whittled a cedar spoon. I uh, haven't made a video on doing this yet, but I mean, it's fine. I mean, it's just a wooden spoon. All right, so as far as the bag is concerned, sorry about the dog in the background. Uh, it has sleeves that you can take your spoon or whatever you desire and go all the way around this guy. Love it. It's great. All right. Open this guy up. It's got a snazzy little leaf right here. Uh, kind of cool. I don't think they put these on here anymore. I think that they they did the uh, got the little push deal. I don't, I don't know what you call that. But anyway, it's cool. I like the leaf. All right, right off the bat, I have my Kooksy cup. Uh, where did I get this guy? Made in Finland. I, th I believe I ordered this off of Dave Canterbury's uh, site. Self Reliance Outfitters, uh, it's all right. Um, yeah, cooks a cup. All right, so if I look down into the bag, yeah, there we go. I got my mom, man. My mom, she can sew, she can sew anything, sew, sew anything. Check this out, a little pull cord bag. There we go. All right, so in here is my bush box lf this is the titanium bush box lf watch this pay attention you might miss it you might miss it the entire setup oh here we go we can take these guys up oh, wrong side wrong side chase there we go it has little grooves look at that ah, there we go right there Completely assembled. And back the bag up, right there. I ordered. I also ordered this off of Self Reliance Outfitters. Just a little great. Sometimes I set it on top. Sometimes I'll take these off and just start my fire. Boom. Do one of those numbers and just set my uh, canteen cup in here to heat up water. You don't have to do that. You could throw these guys on here. All right, next. There's that bag. Thanks, Mom. Love it. All right, so let's look into the bag. Right off the bat, I have a SE CR 2.5. Uh, what is that? Let's see here. C. Rowan. It's pretty good. I wouldn't say, you know, set back and just make shavings uh, for your fire. But, I mean, I've been skinning a lot of fish with this guy. And it does pretty good. And, of course, I got the Carta case for it. There we go. Next. All right. Here we go. Press them right. There went my fork. Hope it didn't fall through the porch. <clears throat> um, so this is my big, large ferrocerium rod. And actually, this guy right here is Southern Sh Southern Shop. This was actually a uh, turkey slate call uh, striker. And I just drilled a hole into it and stuck the ferrocerium rod down in it. You can see the glue. You can see the glue right about here. All right, there's that. 
And here, let's see what we got here. This is my flint and steel set. It's pretty cool. I mean, it does a great job. Now, I will say that this flint is not as good as this little bitty white rock right here. Oh my goodness. This dude slings some sparks. All right, all right. I shall move on. What is next? What is next? All right, here we go. All right, compliments of my daughters. You can see the little fancy little white stuff right here, but you know, it's just a little pull bag. This is what I keep my coffee in. And please, no criticism. I mean, come on. I just go to Walmart and get instant Folgers coffee. It does the job. Haven't got civilized yet, I guess. With all the fancy coffee. So, coffee bag. Throw it up. Yeah, throw it in. Alright, next. Let's get the fork that fell out. There we go. This, my little friends, is a hand forged fork. Or I should say, Viking fork. For this steak, my little friend. Oh, ha, 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 ha. love it. All right, I gotta show you all this. Gotta show you this. All right, here goes. Take the curved in. Most pockets nowadays have this little hole right about here for your pen. You can take this guy. There it is. You don't have to worry about your fork getting in the dirt or falling onto the ground. And it's it's not gonna go anywhere because it has that little ball. Let me poke my eyeball out. Here we go. Alright. Get that guy out. On to the bag. Alright, so one fork. It's kinda cool. Next, here we go. This would be my chart ball, 10. And I always put a little bit of, ah, what do you call this stuff? Um, never dull. This stuff, it takes a stinking flame and it will burn and burn and burn. Try it. Try it out. It's pretty cool. Char cloth. Yeah. It's a BB canteen. Next. Just some Walmart matches. They do great. I need to, I'm just about ready to get some more. I find myself using these a lot, a lot, a lot. So. I like these. I mean, I actually like these better than I like using the, the cigarette lighter. And, of course, cigarette lighter. Alright. There we go. And anybody that has ever watched my videos know that I absolutely love Tony Sachets. Or Sachets. However you would like to say it. Uh, you know what? As a matter of fact, I believe we're going to have to try something. All right, I dare you. Try it. Salt, Tony's. Can't go wrong. All right, next. This is the small MSR. Uh, what is this? There we go. Net weight, 3.9 ounce. Um, I used to have this guy, but as you can tell... It's rather large for my bag, so I had to go with the smaller ones. All right, and of course, if you go with the MSR uh, tanks, you might as well get the pocket rocket. Look at that. Look at that, look at that. I'm not gonna fold them all out. I don't wanna waste you guys time. Love it, love it. And yes, I, I use my stuff. There's my old one. Use them a lot. 
So yes, this is new. No, I have not cooked on it yet. So we'll try this guy out. This is Old Faithful. Mm, newbie. All right. Take that guy off. Ah, what do we have in there? Let's get this guy out. All right, all right. And there we go. And out of the bottom is the lid. There we go. This is the Pathfinder. Um, this is the bush pot. This is not the large. It is the bush pot. And it is grand. Let me show you something right here. So with this bush pot, I can turn that bad boy sideways. I can take the grate that I normally use for my bush box LF. Slide that dude in there. Oh, look at that. There we go. Can't you just see a biscuit laying right there? Look at that. Look at that, look at that. Biscuit, potato. I mean, come on. All right, that's it. That's everything. Coffee. There you go. One more thing. Right here. Couldn't leave this guy out. You gotta boil water. Pull this dude out. This is the Keith 1.1 liter, 32.2 ounce titanium canteen. Love it. Love it. Look at that. There we go. Just like so. And if we look at here, let's pull this dude out. There we go. This dude right here. Works perfect on this guy. See? Oh, oh. Let's see, watch this. That's why, I, that's why I like this guy so much. Throw that dude on there. Boom. I'm done. The mic has dropped. Bushbox LF. Go to Self Reliance Outfitters and get you a little deal here. That fits the bush pot. And you don't have to worry about these guys. Well, hey, the little Link man wanted to join me. Say hey, Link. Hi. Tell him. Say, what's up, y'all? Mm -mm. <laughs> well, hey, I hope that you have enjoyed. I hope you've enjoyed my cook set. Oh, I see it behind me right here. Check this out. I normally don't take this anymore, but this was kind of like an old deal for me. I kind of, I actually kind of miss this because I could use the uh, mess kit lid for a plate. I don't really have a plate right now with my kit. I'm gonna have to figure that out. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I could use, maybe I could use the lid for the the bush pot for a plate. I mean, I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out after a while. I know I don't like not having a plate, so I might get. I don't know what I'm get. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. And uh, I hope I didn't bore you too bad. There's all the junk that came out of that one little bag. Um, I would have to say the most useful, this guy right here, man. I mean, throw your water in it, boil it up, set it in the coals, uh, make your coffee, get your coots out. I mean, come on. But anyway. The newest addition to my set is this guy. So we're gonna be trying that out on a steak Daddy, coming up. What, baby? I want deer sausage when we get in. Deer, say he wants deer sausage. All right. 
So, hey, listen. God bless you guys, and hope you enjoy the video. Stay tuned. Subscribe. Hit the subscribe button. There it is right down there somewhere over there, over here. Hit the subscribe button. Be blessed, people.